Well, as you can see, it's a beautiful setting here at One Big Boys High as we welcome you for their clash against South African College School, Sachs, as they are better known. And if you Google the oldest schools in South Africa, you'll find that Sachs is number one established way back. You can see it's a beautiful day here in Cape Town. Hardly any wind at all. It's warm. It's absolutely perfect for rugby. And as you can see in the background there, the wonderful setting that it is. Well, Sachs, this is the second encounter this year, and Sachs won that game. And this is primarily the 15 that did it. Look out for their... Uh, Captain James Brewer, also a scrum half, Blepu, who uh, was uh, in the Craven Week team, and Liam Larkin was also, the hooker was also in the Craven Week team. No Craven Week representatives here, but I'm told to watch out for Labu Kanamea, the number 15, Stephen Matthew, the captain, and uh, these games are always very close. You've seen that uh, the game prior to this, Sacks were the victors, but Weinberg have won most of the other encounters that we've had here on the main rugby field. And so the boys parade their stuff here before this uh, FMB Classic clash. Well, there we go, the season statistics. Weinberg boys played 16, won 7, lost 8. So, uh, one would say a middle-ish sort of season for both, both uh, lots. Well, I see that shows Weinberg boys as having one, but I'm told by good authority, in other words, the patron of rugby here at Weinberg, Dave Stewart, none other than the great Springbok, Dave Stewart, that Sachs, in fact, won that first encounter. And uh, so we look forward to a, a, a good game of rugby played by these traditional schools. Now we all have the pipes and drums as I welcome my co-commentator, Springbuck Blues forward, AJ Fenter. You, what a wonderful day, and I have to say this is my first time here at Weinberg, and uh, this place is absolutely stunning. We have the view in the back, the mountain, and uh, on to top that off, we've got a day with beautiful weather. And like we say in Durban, when uh, Cape Town's weather's bad, it's bad. What when it's good, it's amazing. And today is absolutely amazing. Field is uh, slightly, slightly slippery from uh, the wet weather in Cape Town recently, but uh, nothing to really be worried about. Our referee today will be Francois Pretorius. And there is a good crowd, a good crowd of old boys. We've seen Rob Lowe, we've seen Dave Stewart, the Springboks who come from Weinberg. Andrew Patterson is here. He helps with the sacks forwards. And uh, Rob Lowe, Robbie Fleck spent some time here at, Rondelbosch, uh, at Weinberg before moving to Bishops. That's Sachs' recent form. And uh, losing to Rondebosch, beating Bishops. That's a good win for them. Paul Boys, of course, are the strongest side in South Africa at the moment, according to the ratings. Weinberg's beating Bishops, losing to Rondebosch. Good win against Boerland Lampo, who had a couple of Craven Week representatives. Paul Ruas, look at that, a big loss against Paul Ruas. And then against Sachs, it says one. Interesting. And so we haven't uh, had an enormous amount of noise or anything here. So far, a rel relatively subdued crowd, but we're going to have the uh, Pipers strutting their stuff. And the Weinberg boys are starting to line up. Haven't seen any sign of the Sax boys as yet. Remember, their last Springbok was uh, Percy Montgomery, Sax, Peter Kirsten, who was a very, very, very good rugby player at fly half, went to Sax as well. They also have the oldest living Springbok in Dr. Cecil Moss, who not only played for South Africa in 1949, but also coached the Springbok side some years ago. They also had uh, Frankie Waring, the Honorable Frankie Waring, who became Minister of Sport. Um, he was a, a sax man. And so it is Brewer who leads the sack side onto the field 
and so it'll be interesting to see how uh, they shape the Weinberg boys will be coming up in a moment AJ well I was uh, on the phone this morning to Percy Montgomery we say is an ex, ex sex boy uh, asking if he's gonna come and watch the game where do you think he is in the gym he couldn't attend because he's gymming right there is the scrum half lucky Dlepu, who played in the Craven week for Western Province made up primarily of Paul boys high Paul Roos those schools around the Stellenbosch Paul area dominated the side but Larkin and uh, Dlepu now this Weinberg side get the welcome they deserve led on by Stephen Matthew Well, this is absolutely fabulous to see the guys. The great opportunity of them at this platform with the FNB Classic clashes. And uh, I'm very excited to see uh, this massive game start. So those are the one big boys. They will be in those jerseys and the sacks in all white strip. Just with a little flash of, of black around the underarm area. Labib Kanamaya, uh, Dave Stewart, he's such a lovely guy, Dave Stewart, such a gentleman, the patron of rugby here, represented South Africa both at fly half and centre, played centre for South Africa many times with the great John Gainsford, who passed away last year. And so it will be Weinberg by uh, Dominic Kutzer to begin this game as I say a referee Francois Pretorius gets the uh, thumbs up from our floor manager Leighton and so here we go for the second time good hanging kick by Kutza well taken there by O'Reilly Connor O'Reilly did very well taking that ball and then doubling around they get it to Dlepu keeping it tight they've you've seen some good skills amongst the junior players Vlepu again Sax is building up quite nicely stately the ball carrier that time Vlepu is scragged but from an offside position well very good kick off there from Sax but what is interesting to see that you know these days with the ball in the air you can't contest the guy that's receiving the ball has got all the right and it was lovely to see from Sachs there. The ball was hanging, but the player chasing knew there wasn't a, a proper, you know, he wasn't in the right spot, and he didn't contest for the ball. Wonderful to see. For him. This is the penalty spoken to Franchot, the ref, before. He said he's going to be very strict on the offside line today. And uh, hence the penalty there against Sachs. Oh, Weinberg. James Brew in the number five jersey will probably be the go-to man. He's 1,94 meters tall and uh, can't uh, secure the ball well played there by Buerta Christian Buerta the Weinberg hooker Doyle Advantage over. and then the uh, boot away is uh, Talashi is there for Sachs finding Grepu Looks like a live wire scrum half does uh, Dlepu, who wasn't first choice scrum half for the Craven Week team, but certainly was on the squad. Sachs building up quite nicely. Well read there by David Hayes. Brilliant run by the fly half and pass away. Beautiful play by Sachs. Well into the Weinberg 22 meter area. Continuity by Coles. Now they need quick ball. Glepu needs the ball now. It comes for Brewer. Little slow to the point of breakdown with Sachs. Then they've got it to Hayes. Hayes looks uh, full of running. Reardon Hayes, the vice captain, the inside center, involved in the movement. This is good for Sachs as they get it away again to Statler. Glepu. Larkin. Turnover, good. Turnover is good, says the referee. Good defending by Weinberg. Will Doyle get it out? And they do. Kind of, what a oh. lovely little bit of play there down that side. And look at the pace of that left winger. Brilliant play. And Kanamaya 
Who, a wonderful little bit of play there by the Weinberg fullback. Inside his own goal area, showed that he's prepared to go the whole length. Wow, wonderful start from both these teams. And uh, But I'm pretty impressed already with the sex fly of David Hayes. He's had two or three fantastic breaks. And uh, the referee said he's going to let the breakdown go today a little bit. He's going to give the guys the opportunity to steal the ball. And that was uh, one of them. But a lot of pace shown by... And non Bokuse. It's good. Crouch. So you see there is a 25k weight advantage Bind. for Bind. the Sachs front row. And locks. Solid scrummaging by Sachs. Glepu Hayes couldn't hold on. <laughs> Commentators curse. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach me. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Hayes couldn't hold that. Pretty good pass. Just looked up, kind of looked like he took his eye off the ball there. It always happens when you play into the pocket, straight onto the defense. But he'll try and fix that quickly. In the front row, we have a Deep Isaacs on the Weinberg side. He weighs in at 105 Ks. Duncan Five. Ferguson, the tight head for Sachs, 115 Six. Ks. Oh! Look out also for number six, Yakub, who is uh, shortish but weighs a, in at 101 Kgs. Efficient play by Weinberg and uh, Sutton on the run. Well tackled there by uh, Bose. Drepu, Sachs getting the majority of ball at the moment. Good play by the skipper, Brewer. Continuity is good for Sachs by Larkin, that the other Traven Week representative in the Sachs side, as I said, none in the Weinberg team. And uh, They've had a sort of middle medium season. They've had sacks, not you know one of those games, uh, one of those seasons where they've uh, lost just about as many as they've won. O'Reilly prominent again. Drepu, I like Drepu service and uh, one of the Weinberg defenders up there very quickly. The referee's arm is up for an advantage to the home school. The way there for Ngai Kisa. Advantage over. Kanamaya. Oh. Well, he's a little fella, Kanamaya, but he's uh, been recommended to me by Dave Stewart. He said he's a real talent as, as a rugby player. Normally, a scrum half has been moved to the full back position to um, just uh, extend his talent uh, so he's allowed to pop up all over the park. This is a good run back by Benderman. <laughs> Tackle there made by. Uh, Colborne, Christian Colborne, penalty sacks. Six blue hands in. Well, uh, this game has been very physical already, you. And uh, Lance Stutler, look at that. Him together with, uh, I think, it's Jordy Hopp. Fantastic tackle in the midfield. Low, driving through the legs. Good kick by David Hayes. And those uh, boys sitting on the same side of the field as we are. Brewer, Flepu, Hayes. Good line of defense by Weinberg. Using the rush defense. Let him go, goes and go. Let him go. Kisa. The referee saying that they were holding the ball on the ground. They've got some tall loose forwards in Bowes and uh, Stain. Both over 1,85 meters tall. The two flank forwards.
A lot of contesting going on in, in the line-out, uh, both, from, both from the Sachs and Weinberg. It's lovely to see that they don't just give the line-outs away. They really contest and put pressure on the other side. So Sachs calling the shortened line-out with uh, Brewer, and that time it goes to Tom Robinson. Drepu. Strong help there from Statler, Lance Statler, who's shown up well in the early stages of this game. Now Larkin. Tackle! Good layback by the hooker, Drepu. Well left by Hayes, very well left by the fly half. And gathered in by uh, Riedlin Hayes. Drepu again. Looked like a pre-planned move there, and here we have Kanamaya. Now watch how exciting he is as he runs out of his own area and then gets the pass away. Unfortunately, nobody on the outside for the number six flanker, Cameron Bowes. Well, I must say I'm so happy to see the young guys keeping the ball alive, not just going down for rucks. You know, they see the all backs play, they see the top teams play, and they kind of learn quickly. They almost learn quicker than the senior teams for me, and I'm so happy to see that. Well, overthrown for Brewer. Well played by Doyle. Now it's with Ngakisa. Chance now. Nice little sidestep there from Dominic Kutze. Doyle. Ngakisa again. Doyle, Kanamaya. He's not scared to run at the opposition. The one might say he's ethereal in build. Good play there from uh, Henriques, the loose head prop. And the boot away by Kutzer. Well fielded by Sutton. Benderman. Unfortunate yellow card. Obviously, I was watching the ball, but obviously he tripping. tripping says the re referee. Yeah, no doubt, spot on by the referee. This is uh, going to hurt Weinberg a little bit. There was a trip in the midfield after the kick was uh, kicked. Cameron Bowes. Yeah, I would. Uh, I doubt whether he'll be ten minutes in the in the cooler because they play thirty-five minutes a half, and so it will be the first kick at goal in the game, and it will be Georgie Hop who steps up. What an elaborate style he has, and he can kick him. Oh, oh, oh. Captain. Captain. Wonderful kick by Hobb. Definitely an interesting kicking style. Okay, and these guys see what the senior players uh, does on TV. But he uh, backed that up with a fantastic kick. That's probably a 40 meters, 42 meters kick. Also, obviously used to kicking in the wind because he yeah, kept it, it low. pretty low. There's no uh, wind here. This is now Statler. Quite a handful. Good play there by Stephen Matthew, the Weinberg captain. Drepu. Sachs have controlled the ball well at, uh, in loose phases until now. Picked up there by Buerta. Missed it. Bosov, the lock forward, good play by the big lad, Doyle again, away for Kanamaya, close marking by the 
sax players all in white comes for the tight head well played by isaacs he's the guy who weighs in at 105 k's a tight head prop doyle good sir now chance here for one but could you get some territorial ascendancy haven't been Mess, in the sax 22 meter area till now doyle could sir Good defense there by O'Reilly. Turn over good. You got now blue. Turn over good. And the turnover is good. They're pure away for Hayes. And a very good clearance by the Sax fly half. Well, oh, there's a brilliant steal by Liam Larkin. He's uh, down in the uh, 22 at this moment. He's been a. Uh, a live wire in this first 13 or so minutes lovely to have a hooker that can does all kind of things and you know almost like a fourth loose forward on the field well he weighs in at 100 kgs and they need him with Craven week experience that's a good line out play there by Gideon Bosov Well, he's in the action again. Is Larkin making the tackle? Doyle now with the Buerta. Good tackle by Brewer, the skipper. Was available. Doyle was available. working to Ngakisa. On that short side away for Colborn. Doyle, Gukisa, obviously one of the recognized ball carriers for Weinberg, away by Kanamaya for uh, Henriques. Doyle again, line of defense for Sachs, led by Carl Coles, the number eight. Doyle, Kutzer. Not a bad tactic by the fly half, as nothing was really on there. Well played by Benderman and away by Michael Sutton. Well, you, the, you're 100% right. That was a fantastic little play by the fly of Dominic Kutzer. They had three or four goes in the midfield. They couldn't get through, realized that his men was running out. And a wonderful place kick into the corner on the grass. And uh, the only thing that Sex could do is really kick it out 10 meters further. So again, they're attacking 40 meters uh, forward. Wonderful. So, Buerta with the throw. Borsov is one of their main line-out youngsters. Oh, stolen. A good throw, but stolen. They've got to rip the ball down. This is Larkin. Hayes. Helped out by his whoop. That was offside by Yakub. Just got himself in a position where he felt he had to play the ball because Sacks were in trouble, but from an offside position. Well, when Weinberg will be happy with the, that penalty because they had a fantastic opportunity with that line out. Unfortunately, it just got ripped out of the hands of Gideon Bosov, I think it was. And uh, this gives Weinberg boys. An opportunity to equal the scores. Well, it's interesting. They've got a lot of com. I'm a great advocate of chasing every kick. They don't have to that time, and Kutsa levels the scores. My whole career, I chased that penalty kick and I, and I believe I'm going to score a try one day I never did never got it well funnily enough AJ I did against the then Rhodesia I chased <laughs> every kick and it hit the upright yeah <laughs> so that's right. one of the reasons why I'm a great advocate of chasing <laughs> kicks well that's not gone 10 meters It didn't look to me like it had gone 10 meters when it's right in front of us here. Kutzer. 
Prepu. And plenty of time for Sutton to move it out wide. Well played by Riedling Hayes. A little bit of space there for uh, Jordi Hop. Play on, Watt's got the ball. This is a good build up here by Sachs. Good uh, layback. Worked out by Brewer. Now with Jakub over the Weinberg 22 meter line. Pick up is by Ferguson. Hop. Drepu, Saitla. Driving now deep into that Weinberg half and Brewer is very nearly over. Referee perfectly positioned. Drepu away there for O'Reilly. O'Reilly, the swirl, can he get it down? Remember that Weinberg, a flanker short. Drepu. Yuck. Statler for uh, Riedlund oh. Hayes. Riedlund Hayes wriggles his way out of the tackles. First try of the game to Sachs. Well, first uh, five pointer for the day. And uh, by that man, Nick Riedlund Hayes. For a second, I thought he got tackled and dominated, but he stayed on his feet. And a beautiful word you mentioned, you, you used it, wriggled his way. Right there, I thought it was a good tackle, good offense. He stayed up, wriggled his way out. And a fairly easy try for Riedling Ace. No problem for Jordy Hop right in front of the post. He's got a very short run up, almost like Percy uh, did when he kicked. A two meter run up. The yellow card. Sideline, sorry. Good, sir. Jakub, good chase up there by that uh, Weinberg left wing, number Kuze. And with this moment of respite, signals the return of Cameron Bowes. Well, I think you're right that there wasn't 10 minutes. That's probably like a five or seven minute. So Buerta with the throw in. Good take by Borsov. Stick, 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 stick. You said none. Good, sir. Well, the po handling not great. Wiscombe couldn't uh, control that. So the turnover ball is handled by Blepu Larkin. Tidied up by Benderman. Worth to drown by the hooker again. Good play there by O'Reilly. Vlepu. Oh, another bad oh. little touch by the scrum half, but just bouncing a little low for him. Yeah, brilliant kick, brilliant kick into the space. Just short enough, and unfortunately just couldn't gather. There was definitely a little bit of space behind there. Wonderful for, of him to see, but just the bounce of the ball there just doesn't work for him. Crouch. Bind. Up line. Sit. Stop. Good scrum by Sachs. You heard the riff. He says stop, but it's a heel against the head. This is now a hop. Nice ball on the inside for Benderman. 
Quick support from Coles. Glepu for Brewer. Glepu again. Lovely handling by the scrum half. Yakub. Larkin. Hayes. And that will be well out on the full. Little cry of anguish from the fly half as he kicked it. Then the wave of apology. Yeah, you can see he's a left footed kicker. He had to turn sideways to get it off the left foot. He couldn't just run and cook it off his right foot. And I think that probably was the reason for him just punting it a little bit too hard. Borsov is uh, good again. Also, well, the good Tunga Kisa was out in the back line. Well played by Hayes. Good play by the fly half. No Saks boys in sight till now. Riedwin Hayes gets there. The try scorer. Worked up by Coles. Zerpu, Statler. Lovely oh. ball by Hop, and good idea, not coming off. Yeah, very good idea by Jordy Hop. He's a good player. He's got everything he can kick. He does the kicking for poles. He's a good defender. He's quite a big guy for a centre, and uh, yeah, he weighs in at 83 k. Yeah, and he moves around. He can step. He's fast. So, guy to watch for the future. They've now got him on the wing. Short man line out. They've got some of the guys out. Good work there by Borsov. And the kick away by Kutsu is useful. Well, late tackle after the kick. So a little bit of indiscipline on malicious. both sides, creeping in, I might say, enthusiasm. Penalty there, penalty here. Yeah, good call from the referee and the captain, Brewer, definitely late. Penalty, late tackle on the kicker. Well, there was an immediate apology. But I remember, tackle, you know, guys who used to straight on arm you and then say, sorry. Sorry, can we have a beer? Those are the good old days, you. Yeah. <laughs> Good kick by Kutzer. Bit of a breeze, if you can call it that, just into the backs of uh, Weinberg, so it'll help them with uh, the kicks a little bit. It's such a beautiful day. Fantastic atmosphere around the field today, you. Yeah, it's really great. These uh, schoolboy FNB classic clash clashes. And it's uh, Borsov who wins the line out with the number eight, Matthew, the skipper. Doyle. Buerta. Tackle! Tackle! Why tackle? Jakub doing a pretty good job in slowing that down. Doyle, now Kanamaya, Ngekisa. Buerta. Play on, ball ripped before they tackle. Well, they've uh, stolen some good ball, have uh, sacks, and well played there by Tom Robinson, the uh, number four lock forward, who uh, got it away to Jordy Hop. Very impressed with the sacks defense. You, they every time Weinberg gets into their half, it kind of is like they switch they turn on they stay nice and straight they press up in the midfield and they turn over the ball every time but that's with good pressure on the fence all the old boys and parents on the far side of the field most of the school boys on the if one might say the west side of the ground Doyle Matthew Stephen Matthew good layback for Doyle now Kanamaya Lovely hands, and again, oh. beautiful, beautiful oh. try by Weinberg, and it's a fullback who started it all, finishes it off. Dave Stewart wasn't wrong.
Oh, beautifully worked out try there by Weinberg. Lineout moved into the midfield. You could see they were overlap on the left hand side and they worked it out like that. And they had the speedster Kanemaya hanging around there just to create the space. And uh, straight back to Kanemaya. They definitely worked it out. They brought their forwards around that ruck in order to pull the defense of the Sacks team around to the open side of the field. And immediately they swung back with a quick pass using their speed to Kanemaya. No problem for the fly half. And so nearly a half hour gone and the scores are level. Well, we look at it again as the, we see Kanemaya coming around the rack there. It still wasn't done. There was still a lot of work to be done by Nombakuse. And uh, he passed it back to Kanemaya for that try. Yeah, and well played, number 11, Nombakuse, to get that ball back inside to Kanemaya. Hayes. Good chase up by Brewer. And now they break away to uh, Weinberg, but the cover is good. Tlep, who's done well, lovely ball for Riedlin Hayes, who recovers well, gets it to Hayes. Good work by the fly half over the halfway line. Continuity is good there by Riedlin Hayes. Very good competing uh, at the rock time from Vo from Weinberg. This is uh, the second or third penalty they've uh, won at the breakdown. Although they're getting allowed, or the ref is allowing them to compete, which is lovely to see. It's a lovely flowing game by Francia Pretorius. Tight hit again, Yakub. Very quick off the side of the scrum and the pick up. Grepu, Brewer. Comes to the scrum half again, Larkin. Tough uh, fellow to bring down the sturdily built sax hooker. Grepu again, now Hayes, switch with Riedling Hayes. Scored a try from almost that position. Yakub, he's kept people busy, he has the number six flanker right on the Weinberg try line. Glepu for Larkin. One might think that the scrum half would be tempted to break. It was the Coles who tried to barge over. No hands, yet, no hands. Oh, and stolen there by number Kuset. Oh. Also, when the Kanemaya looked like he was up there as well, AJ. Well, again, I have to say I complimented Sachs' defence, but that was top-notch defence by Weinberg. It's the second or third time they're on their try line like that, and they keep on defending and they press hard from the line, and that's what you want. You want to you want to put everything your body on the line there, and that's what they've done. Well, it's interesting when they get to that field position right under the post. Watch for the opportunity, perhaps, of Blepu dumbing and going himself the scrum half. Because he looks like he's really quick. Yakub. He seems to be a little bit. Yakub clearly runs through tackles. There's Yakub. Brewer trying to gain... A little ground help from O'Reilly. This is Larkin. Play on. Play on. Good. Turnover is good for Weinberg. Doyle. Pressure from Brewer, but uh, from offside position. The ball's never out. Well, amazing the work that the coaches do these days. 
and through the years, the coaches, the schoolmasters, giving of their time to coach these boys. Yeah, it's wonderful, and, and it is so stressful, I think, for them. <laughs> once, once, the t once the week is over and Saturday comes, there's nothing more you can do. You can stand next to the field and just hope that the guys listen to what you've said in the week. But stressful, it is the job. Wurter with the throw. Good take there by uh, Bose. The taller of the flank forwards is Bose. This is uh, Kanamaya. Always managed to get the ball away, does Kanamaya in the tackle situation. Good play by the right wing, Diamfari. Gakisa. Away by Kanamaya. Then with the. Uh, Stain, good run by Stain, the other flank forward. Doyle, Kanamaya. Vepu oh. has it covered, but uh, Nomakuse doing very well. This is Buerta, the hooker. Doyle working that uh, short side. Kanamaya has other ideas. Kutsa, good stepping by the fly half. Good ground made by him, too. Vemshius Lepu who made the tackle. Now it's with Doyle again. Coming for Colborne. Then Biscom. This is Ngakisa. Lovely ball away now. As they get the man down there, the outside center, Ryan Biscom. Use that nine. A little bit of space. Doyle. Bossoff. Could build up this by Weinberg. Seven flank to Callum Stain, but I do not know whether that's a try. Yeah, yep. I see the ref is pointing possible forward. No, nope, yep. that's a try. Yeah, Callum Stain, the try scorer. Well, that was absolutely outstanding. It's about a 70 meter try all the way from the 22 through probably 12 phases. Weinberg outstanding and at the end it was a little break by Matthew Boyle and he offloads to Callum Stain for a wonderful try a team effort from Weinberg that was a very important try you it was just before half time well it's half time that extra possible seven points will come in good stead when they start in the second half yeah super finish to the half for the home team in the wonderful setting here in Weinberg. <laughs> and the flags go up. They're quite short posts, those, but a good conversion by Kutzer. And so on the stroke of half time, the home side Weinberg boys go into the lead. And this was the build up. You can see beautifully taken there. It was actually two men went for the player who didn't get the ball. And well done there by uh, the flank forward Callum Stain. And so uh, an entertaining first half ends with the. Weinberg scoring that converted try. They lead by 17 to 10.